Today, the Emerald City Council voted to withdraw its plan to issue certificates of obligation to fund a proposed city hall project. Now the council is back to square one on funding. Emerald Mayor Ginger Nelson says while City Hall is still in need of repair, they are taking a step back to hear from citizens about how to move forward. At this point, there is pending protest petition and a lawsuit between an Emerald business owner and the city on issuing COs for this project. Tonight, KMR Local 4's Kaylee Green gets both sides of the story. That's from your local election headquarters. Tuesday's vote comes after Amarillo business owner Craig Galtier filed a lawsuit against the city and filed a protest petition to stop COs from being issued. He argues issuing COs without an election would be illegal. Their actions today actually validate my petition without them even saying they have a valid petition. By them pulling the COs, they're telling all the 10,000 people who signed my petition that we heard what you said. We're pulling the project. Mayor Ginger Nelson says the council wants to pause and answer questions from citizens about how to move forward. Right now, the city council is going to start again looking at the options, and we will let those options guide what the plans and the strategies and the next steps are for what we need, and then how much it will cost, and then how we will pay for that. The removal vote was 4-1, to one, with Cole Stanley voting no on the repeal, although he was against issuing COs. You know, I was hopeful that we would have a valid petition that would, that would be validated where it would give the citizens uh, their opportunity to have their full voice heard on this one particular issue and that we could call an election. Stanley says his vote was twofold since the CO issue is still in litigation. The city filed a subsequent lawsuit in Travis County, a judge ruling Monday. Both the city's and Galtier's cases will be tried together in Potter County. Regardless of what they did today, we still have a protest petition on file. We have an adjoined lawsuit in Potter County. The question is, does this become moot or what the issue is? And frankly, if they try to get two COs again, you know, we'll just have to see where it goes from that point. Now, it's unclear what will happen with the joint lawsuits after the council withdrew COs today. As we reported yesterday, those cases are in the process of being transferred back to Potter County. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Andy. Kaylee, thank you. Mayor Nelson says they're not back to square one for planning the City Hall project. They just need to find the best way to be diligent with the tax dollars.